Okay, uh, welcome to uh, today's lecture. So uh, we already have um, learned that how to use a notebook as uh, as our new uh, Python editor. So to analyze data. So this week uh, we are focused that how we can import data into uh, into Python um, by using a notebook. So normally when we analyze data, so we will load data from a database. Uh, to our uh, notebook okay or we can load data from the data link okay uh, to our notebook so where we can uh, perform those data anal uh, uh, different analysis uh, so in this uh, semester so we will focus we just use a data link and in a data mining class and um, we will learn that how we can uh, load data from the database uh, so as I have said that there are three types of the data sources. So the structured data, so the data organized in a form uh, that in the rows and also columns of the table. Uh, so the most common one is a relational database, okay, where we can use SQL to um, query the data. And the semi-structured data, where the data is organized in the key value pairs, Okay, in the key value pairs, so uh, one example is the JSON data. Okay, and and also we can store the data in those uh, non-relational database like as uh, like MongoDB or the other type of non those uh, non-relational database. And uh, finally, is uh, data that uh, unstructured, like so they are not in either structured or semi-structured. So those like TXT files. Um, images and also videos like mp3 and also audios so something like that okay um, and in the real world structured data and also semi-structured semi-structured data only um, take about 20% of the total data and for the other type data that is 80% Okay, so it is actually very important that how you can handle those unstructured data. So, because only a small portion of the data are structured or semi-structured. All right, so let's first uh, see how we can uh, load the text data into um, Python. So the, our first section will be how we can read the txt files or the text files. So text files are very common. So it is just a computer file that only contains uh, text information and also uh, do not have any other special inf uh, formatting. So for example, like the font, the size, etc. So here on the left side is an example of the HTML web page and then where you can see they have the format like the size, URLs, images. Okay. And on the right side, on the right side, that is how uh, the TXT file look like. So you can see that without those format, so that we can see, okay, so uh, the all the text have the same size and also font, and also all the images are gone, and also the URLs are not uh, in this um, text file. Okay, so text file is probably the simplest uh, format of those. Um, unstructured data and uh, let's see how we can load that such type data into Python so to load the txt files into Python and we can use this open function um, but keep in mind that open function can also open the other type of the files so not only the text files like and also it can open like the JSON files or all the other type of the files but we are using open function uh, in this class to open the txt files. And the syntax is uh, you use open function and you tell where the file is located and also you tell the mode. And that open function will pass that file into this file object. And there are several modes. So if you are using R, so that means the file is in the read mode only. 
Okay, so you can only read the data from this file, but you cannot change the file. Uh, if you are using the W, so that means that is the write mode, so that you can write new information into that file. And you can, if you are using R plus, so that means that you are using the, the mode that can both read and also write. Okay, so that is the open function. And once you load that one into the file object, you can use this read method that can read the entire contents uh, from this file. So here you can see we can, once we have this file object, we can see dot read. So that can re load the entire content into this uh, file content variable. Or you can give it any name that you like. Okay. Um, Okay, and so that let's see one example in Python. So let's go to the SageMaker. And so this is the AWS service that hosts our uh, notebook instance. And let's open the instance. And right now you can see it has been stopped. And that is correct because you don't want to waste your credits. So let's select that instance and go to actions. And let's say start. Okay, so it will take like about a few minutes so that uh, the instance will be ready. Uh, so while we are waiting, so let's also download the data that we are going to use uh, for this lecture. So uh, the first one is a text file that I just showed earlier on the slides. So the URL is posted on Canvas. So if you click that URL, you will see that this text file is on my GitHub repository. You can see it's very short. And let's right click this raw and let's save this link as. So that will download this uh, TXT file into your local computer. So let's do that first. And meanwhile, let's also download the next one that is the JSON file so that we will use that one later. Uh, during this semester, uh, during this lecture. Uh, so you can see the JSON file is actually like a dictionary. So let's also click the raw, right click, and the save link as. And let's save that one to our local uh, computer as well. All right, and so now let's go back to the SageMaker. And it is still pending, so you can pause the video here until the SageMaker uh, the, the notebook instance is ready. All right, and you can see that uh, our uh, SageMaker instance is ready. So as we did uh, in the Cloud9, so let's first open the Jupyter Lab. Okay, so that is where we can uh, control the version of our local repository. Um, so let's open that and also let's make a pool so that we can let's upload our local repository first. So let's go to gate. And this is a pool so that will update our local repository. OK, so that was a success. And now let's open our uh, notebook. OK, uh, so before we start a new notebook, so for this class, we are going to read those two files into Python. So one is J demo.json, one is jmu.txt file. Uh, so for today's lecture, so we are going to use the data that are from our local instance. So let's upload those two files. So let's go to the folder where you downloaded the data in your local computer. And let's select those two files and upload. So upload the txt file and also upload the json file. OK, so now you can see the JSON file and also TXT file are on our local, um, not sorry, not local, in this um, i21 cloud instance. OK, so that has already been uploaded to the cloud instance of the GP notebook. And let's create our first, our second lecture, uh, our second uh, notebook, which we still use in the condo Python 3. And this one, let's call it LEC. Um, this is lecture 10 or 11, 11, actually. 
All right. And as we said earlier, so we can use that open function um, to open this file. So let's see. GMU news. OK, so this is the file object equals. So now we are calling this open function. And we know that the file name is GMU underscore news dot txt. So that is um, GMU underscore news dot txt. OK, so that's a file name. Because the, the notebook and also the text file are in, uh, are in the same folder, so we don't need to tell the, uh, the other folders. So, so we just need to call the name of the text file. And also we want to in the read mode. OK, so read. And next, let's load the content. Uh, use this read method, so gmu news.read, okay, and let's print this news content. Okay, so now let's run it. So here you can see we just loaded the text file into um, this notebook. And because it is notebook, so you can still click those URLs. However, uh, if we are doing that one in Cloud9, you will not be able to click those URLs. OK, so that is a very quick example, example that how we can load TXT file into JSON, actually to be more specific, into the notebook editor. Now let's talk about the with as statement. So uh, when we open the a file with this uh, open function, we should always close that file by using this close uh, function. Otherwise, uh, the file that has been opened will always be in the Python memory, so that is not the best practice. However, so it is always um, easy for you to forget to run this close function. And also, it is always not easy to know that exactly you should use, you should close the file. OK, so that is why that we have this with as statement. So with as statement will guarantee that Python will close your files if you are using with as statement. OK, so the syntax is that with, and now we open a file as that project and we have this colon and within this after that statement and you have your indentation and you can do something with that file object okay so everything that you did within this uh, with as block uh, will guarantee that after you're done with that one so the file that you opened will be guaranteed will be guaranteed that it will be closed OK, so that will make sure that we can save the memory. We can save the resource. OK, so let's see one example here. So here, let's see, instead of using open function directly. Um, so actually, so that means if you open that one, you you, st you, always, you always need to gmu news dot close. OK, so you, you should theoretically, you should always close that one. So. But the best practice is not use that close method, but instead we use we put the open function within this with as statement. We say with now we use this open and we tell the txt file dot txt. Pay attention that we still need this extension. And we still need to tell the mode which is R as GMU news so this is a file object okay so within this with a statement we can see print gmu news dot read okay so this is a file object and we are using this read method to get the content and this time we just print that content directly okay and you can see after this with as statement, the GMU news uh, file object will be deleted automatically. So now if we run it, we have the same result as the previous one. 
However, the with as statement is uh, the recommended way that to load to open any files in Python.